Our colleague Aaron was coming down uh, on a very valid business visa. Uh, so it was quite shocking that, uh, you know, yet again, <clears throat> someone has been stopped from coming in. No reasons were given. He was put uh, on a flight back to Kuala Lumpur. He was not given his passport. And in Kuala Lumpur, he was given his passport. And uh, now he's back in Australia. So uh, we're really not clear because this is clearly a pattern of events. We've seen it before with a UK colleague of ours who was deported. Um, so uh, we've seen that, I mean, so this seems to be a trend where even in a globalized world uh, where, uh, you know, there should be the exchange of ideas, people should be allowed to meet, move freely, especially in a democracy such as ours, uh, we're not given reasons and basically people are sent back, they're not allowed to enter this country, even if they have a valid business visa. So I think for us, the larger question to the Home Ministry, to Mr. Rajnath Singh, is that we need to understand what the motive and the intent is. We need to know if they need to make, I think they need to make it clear if no Greenpeace citizen uh, or no Greenpeace person across the world is allowed to either leave the country or come back to the country, then this needs to be clearly publicly declared. Because right now, the intent of it is, um, you know, I mean, is, is highly questionable, but we really don't have any reasons and nothing in writing on that. So are you going to challenge this uh, act of the government or simply lodging a protest is enough? No, I think, I think it's important to raise it. Uh, uh, in Australia, uh, our team is certainly raising it with the High Commission, the Indian High Commission there. Uh, they are on leave till Tuesday, <coughs> but we've already actually tried to contact them. Uh, and similarly, um, even in India, we do uh, want to actually talk to the Home Ministry about it. Uh, we would really like it if they engaged and, you know, told us very clearly what the reasons were. We will clearly raise it and ask because this is these are very scary precedents uh, where people free movement of people are actually not allowed. In the Priya Pillai case, an Indian citizen, and here a person who was actually coming. And I think for healthy business or civil society or any group to function, uh, you know, being allowed to actually travel freely across the country and across the world to do work is absolutely critical.